Today's lesson is on mid-segments of triangles. Read over the learning goal and scale. Find where you are on the scale before we start the lesson. A mid-segment of a triangle is a segment connecting the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. In the triangle mid-segment theorem, if a segment joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the segment is parallel to the third side and is half as long. So since D is the midpoint of segment CA, and E is the midpoint of segment CB, then side DE is parallel to side AB, and DE's length is half the length of segment AB's. In example one, we will identify parallel segments. What are the three pairs of parallel segments in triangle DEF? Well, let's take a look at triangle DEF. I notice that point R is the midpoint of segment DE, I notice that point T is the midpoint of segment DF, and I know that point S is the midpoint of segment EF. Therefore, side RS, side TS, and side RT are all mid-segments, so they will be parallel to the side opposite and half as long. Our first set of parallel sides will be side RS, and side DF. Our second set of parallel sides would be RT and EF. And our third set of parallel sides would be side TS and side DE. So side RS is parallel to side DF. Side RT is parallel to side EF. And side TS is parallel to side DE. Pause the video and do you try number one. In triangle XYZ, point A is the midpoint of segment XY, point B is the midpoint of segment YZ, and point C is the midpoint of segment ZX. What are the three pairs of parallel segments? Let's start by drawing triangle XYZ and their three midpoints. Now let's connect the midpoints to create mid-segments. Now it's pretty easy to tell that side AB is parallel to side XZ, side BC is parallel to side XY, and side AC is parallel to side YZ. For part B, what is the measure of angle VUO in the figure below? Explain your reasoning. Well, because side UV is the mid-segment of triangle NOM, I know that side UV is parallel to side NM. When two segments are parallel and cut by a transversal, the corresponding angles are congruent. Since the measure of angle MNU is 65 degrees, and the measure of angle VUO would be congruent because it's corresponding, the measure of angle VUO is also 65. In example two, we will find lengths. In triangle QRS, points T, U, and B are midpoints. What are the lengths of segment TU, segment UB, and segment QR? Let's start by marking our congruent segments. Since T is the midpoint of segment QS, I know that QT is going to be congruent to segment ST. Since point U is the midpoint of segment QR, I know that segment QU will be congruent to segment RU. And since point B is the midpoint of segment SR, I know that segment SB is congruent to segment BR. Since we know that mid-segments are half the length of the side they are parallel to, segment TU will equal 40 divided by 2, or half of 40. So the length of segment TU is 20. Since segment UB is a mid-segment, it will be half of the length of the side it is parallel to, side QS. So I know that segment UB, the length of segment UB, 
will equal 50 divided by 2, or half of 50, which is 25. And finally, since TB is a mid-segment, it is half of the length of the side it is parallel to, side QR. Since the length of segment TB is 30, 30 will equal half of segment QR. So to find what the length of segment QR is, just multiply both sides by 2. So the length of segment QR will equal 30 times 2, or 60. Pause the video and do you try number 2. In the figure, the length of segment AD is 6. The length of segment DE is 7.5. What are the lengths of segment DC, segment AC, segment EF, and segment AB? Since we can see that the length of segment DC is equal to the length of segment AD, segment DC's length is 6. Since segment AC is segment AD plus segment DC, I know that the length of segment AC is 6 plus 6, or 12. Since segment EF is parallel to segment AC and is a mid-segment of triangle ABC, I know that it is half the length of segment AC. Since segment AC is 12 and segment EF is half of it, segment EF will be 6 units. And finally, the length of segment AB will be twice as long as the segment parallel to it, the mid-segment, DE, which is 7.5. So I know that segment AB's length is 2 times 7.5, or 15. In example 3, we will use a mid-segment of a triangle. A geologist wants to determine the distance, AB, across a sinkhole. Choosing a point E outside the sinkhole, she finds the distance of segment AE, and the distance of segment BE. She locates the midpoints C and D of segment AE and segment BE, and then measures the length of segment CD. We can now use that to find the distance across the sinkhole. Since we know the mid-segment is half the distance or length of the side it is parallel to, we know that 46 will equal half of side AB. So 2 times 46 will equal the length of segment AB. So the sinkhole is 92 feet in diameter. Pause the video and do you try number 3. Segment CD is a bridge built over a lake as shown below. What is the length of the bridge? We can see that point C is the midpoint of this segment because both of these are 963 feet. We can see that point D is the midpoint of this segment because of our congruence marks. With that information, we know that side CD is the mid-segment of this triangle, which means it is half the length of the side it is parallel to. So it should be half the length of 2,640 feet. So the length of segment CD is 1,320 feet. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you've missed any and you can't figure out why, be sure to ask me in class. If you rock the lesson check, take a stab at the challenge. I'm pretty sure you can do it. Now take another minute and reread the learning goal on the scale. See if you've climbed any higher on the scale than where you were when we began the lesson.